Hello everybody. In today's video, we'll be looking at a couple of shortcuts and tricks to make your Clover ETL experience even better. There are tons of features in Clover ETL that sometimes go unnoticed, so today we wanted to highlight a couple that we found particularly useful. So let's take a look at the first. Dropping components on an edge. This is a pretty useful feature if you want to put a component right between two other components on a graph. So here I have a universal data reader and a trash component. And let's say I want to take a transformer here, such as, let's say, reformat. I can just drop it on the edge, and it'll split the existing edges like that. So now let's take a look at our next tip. Let's say we have a lot of the same data transformations that we want to make with the same metadata. So what I would do is I would go in this reformat here, go to the transform function, and now I'm going to go to the source code. And here in this function, I'm going to paste this code. So I add this, and I go back to transformations. I click that, and it automatically maps all of my metadata. Our next step involves dragging files directly onto the graph pane. If you do this with the most file types that Clover ETL recognizes, it'll automatically set up a reader that can read that file type. For instance, if I take a customer CSV and drag it here, you'll get a universal data reader. And the same as if I dragged a TXT file or a DAT file as well. If I drag an XML file, I get an XML reader. And an XLSX file will get a spreadsheet data reader. Our next tip deals with setting phases in your graph. If I want to set a phase for my graph very quickly, I can select the components which phase I'd like to change. And then I can cycle through 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to 9 on my keyboard, and it'll automatically set the phase. One of the quickest ways to add a component to your graph space is to use Shift and Space. And then I can search for a component name or description, like so, and click. And there, I have whatever component that I'd like to search for in my graph. Now, let's say I wanted to set metadata in my graph, but I wanted to do it quickly, and I wanted to do it manually and not rely on automatic metadata propagation. What I could do is go to the palette here, select edge, select type of metadata, and now when I draw my edges, it'll automatically set the metadata that I've specified manually. This tip's pretty simple. If I want to create a component from another component, a simple way I can do that is by dragging an edge, like so, into empty space. And then it'll pull up a dialog box where I can choose which component I like. Let's say here I want to reformat. And there you go. Now normally you can use automatic metadata propagation for quickening your work with metadata. But if I wanted to copy and paste my metadata throughout my graph, I could do that easily by simply manually copying and pasting using control C and control V, like so. And this way I can manually copy and paste my metadata. One big Clover ETL feature that you should definitely be using are notes. Notes, which you can find in your palette on the right-hand corner, are very useful for visually organizing your data processes. I can label them like so, like this could be processing. And then I could label the second part of this data process like so. Also, I can drag around everything in the note like so, and it'll stay attached to the note. Finally, if you wanted to go and be able to navigate very quickly between different graphs in your navigator, there's a way you can link the graph pane and the navigator together with a simple button right here. Link with editor. Now, if I click here or here, it'll automatically switch between my graphs. I can also do this down below, linking my metadata with my graph as well. When I do this, I can go from here to here, and it'll show what metadata is being used where. Thanks for watching. These are only a few of the many handy features offered in Clover ETL. Next time you're working under data transformations, try a couple of them out for yourself. 